telling you. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video and today we're in the 435 and basically we're going to be installing a mod you guys have been asking for for a very long time. I'm going ahead and I'm about to throw my glasses off my face. So basically let's head down to the shop. We're about to, we're about to install catted down pipes. Hopefully it's an easy install. If we can easily install it tonight we'll go ahead and tune it as well to stage two and I mean, we're gonna go full throttle. So, you know, as car people, you say, you know, look at something, you're like, that's not too hard. And then you go ahead and attempt it, and it's like, wow, that was like really hard. So let's hope it's not one of those days. Hopefully it's a very easy job, straightforward. And then we just got ourselves some catted down pipes. It's gonna sound insane, guys. We're super stoked. Without further ado, I'll catch you guys when we're actually there. All right, guys, we're actually, we gotta get some gas real quick. We just made it to this shop. The 435 is just posted. So I just wanna give this car a little clean detail in the front. I didn't realize last night when I left the car, you guys know when we did the blow off valve, the car was, I, I touched it all over the place with my dirty hands. It's filthy. So let's go ahead, clean the front end of the car. The products I use for a quick little detail is Shine Armor. If you guys like quick and easy detailing products, even cleaning products, make sure to check them out down below. I even have a huge discount code. Anywho, let's go ahead, just clean the nose of this car. Just clean it, you know, to the point to where it looks presentable. And then go ahead and get it on the jack because this car is a mission to get on the lift. Once we get it on the lift, we can go ahead and uh, start installing those cat lift down, like catted down pipe. I want catted mainly because I'm not trying to smell like garbage when I'm driving around, let alone if a cop pulls up next to me and smells it, it's gonna be all bad. So I think I went with the right decision with the catted down pipe. It's also my daily. So that's another reason. For those of you guys are wondering where the 650i is, I'm just waiting for everything to come in so I can push out banger videos like with the 435. I'm waiting for everything to come in for the 435. Now I'm tackling the 435. I'm waiting for everything to come in for the 650i and I'm gonna fully tackle the 650i. So don't worry guys, content on that is coming soon. The car is registered for those of you guys who missed this. So I finally got it registered, tags and everything. So it's perfect, it's ready to go. But this morning I just noticed it has a check engine light, low coolant light, so it's, it's leaking coolant. It's misfiring and the top is not going down. So so it's a mission. Anyway, let me go ahead and clean the front end of this car and then uh, we'll get it on the lift. And just like that guys, the car is finally up. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands real quick and put on some gloves so I don't get my hands super dirty again. All right guys, so I pretty much got the car all the way up. So I just remembered, we need to get the car all the way back down. We gotta go ahead and unplug the two cat sensors and then pretty much like just throw them down and then we can actually get to the bottom of the cat. Also the cat's super hot right now so let's work from the top of the car, unplug the two sensors, let it dangle, and then we can finally get to the bottom again. All right guys, I unplugged them, but the second one still has a clip on it. It is so hot. I'm gonna go ahead and let this car rest for about half an hour to an hour, and then I'll dive back into it. This car is way too hot to get started on. Oh my lord, I finally removed my first cat. I'm finally illegal. <laughs> You're finally illegal. <laughs> so, yeah. you have to, I think all you have to do is move over these two. Yeah. And this has no bracket, so hallelujah. It just needs this bracket to go on. Wait, and for then, real? Yeah, it just needs that and that, no other screws. Dang. So it should be pretty, I'm hoping it's an easy install. That's a really good brand too. The RSF. Yeah, that's a Dude, really, really good padded brand. Padded down pipe. This is gonna sound really Bruh. good. Oh my god. Anywho, we're just gonna move over these sensors and then uh, go ahead and install the VRSF uh, padded down pipe, which is gonna be super sick. You know the drama is never ending. Don't let it get the best of you. And all the fake friends just keep pretending. That's all the little things. All right, guys, so I just got back from AutoZone and uh, basically they told me, and I even called O'Reilly's to make sure they said, do not clean O2 sensors if they're working. It could help fuel economy, but it could also damage the O2 sensor, and it costs a lot of money. I think O2 sensors run for about 150 a piece, so $300 is not something I'm trying to waste. You know, if it, if it works, it works. Unfortunately, it doesn't look the greatest. They said you can kind of wipe it off, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna wipe it off, and whatever I can't wipe off, it is what it is. At least it works. That's all that matters, and if it ever goes out on me, I'll just buy it a new one, but I'm not trying to ruin it if I don't have to, you know? Anyway, while I was down there, you guys noticed that uh, when, I, when I added the oil filter, when I removed my OEM one, Coolant went into the oil a little bit and then vice versa. So I'm gonna go ahead, drain all the oil in this car so I don't mess up my car, put in new oil, and the filter I had in it was a Wix filter. You guys have been telling me it's not a good filter. 
use an OEM filter. The thing is, BMW has not been like working out with me. I can't get any parts from them right now to get an OEM filter. So I went to a store that had a K&N filter. I know K&N is a good brand. I don't know if they are for filters. It says performance filter. This is $25, a very expensive filter. So I'm assuming this should be more than good. And then we went ahead and got 5W30 oil as well. So we will be changing the fluids in a little bit. But without further ado, let's go ahead, clean off the O2 sensors with just, you know, a rag and then uh, install this new catted down pipe. Alright guys, so I think installing it's gonna be a lot harder. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and remove this screw here and then also remove a few screws over here and I might be able to get my hand through here. I think that would help out a lot. All right guys, so I've pretty much gotten that as tight as I can get. This one's tightened all the way. So I think the downpipe's in. So now we're just gonna have to route these wires up. I gotta go ahead and put together all this heat shielding. And I gotta go ahead and put the bracket that was right here. So I'm just gonna put a full time lapse right over there and just uh, I'm gonna get all this done. Put back this bracket piece that goes right there. Went ahead and put back all this liner, all the heat shielding. So everything's good to go. We got the catalyst downpipe right there mounted. I think it's perfect. So now the only thing we gotta do is reroute all those, uh, reroute the O2 sensors up there. And I also wanna do an oil change. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain the oil. You guys said the filter I got was terrible. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain the oil and just see me get it all done. Basically, plug in O2 sensors, do an oil change. Guys, finally got the new KN filter. Let's go ahead and put the sucker in. Baby. So, pretty much the trans fluid. See, so guys, new filter, new oil, new transmission fluid, new diff fluid. I think this thing, in terms of fluids, is good to go. New oil filter housing gasket, new oil filter cap. We got a catted down pipe. In terms of bolt you have a charge pipe, intake, intercooler. And yeah, catted down pipe, which is kind of insane. And then we also have a muffler. I don't consider that, I don't think that's considered a bolt I don't really know what you consider that. But yeah, this thing is, I think, almost ready. I do have one more mod that I just want to do to the car right before we actually get into the whole tuning stuff. We are going to be tuning in this video. I do want to turn on the burble tune in this video mainly because it is a cat at town pipe and you might as well enjoy the burble tune but there's one more mod i want to do right before i know a lot of you guys want me to throw it all in one video so i'm just gonna do it all in one video for you guys so this last mod that i have for the 435 today is gonna be it's gonna help out especially when we go stage two in terms of driving in terms of stability and as soon as this is stability I bet you a thousand of you guys know exactly what i'm talking about and that is a strut bar so we went ahead and picked up a strut bar from keys motorsports again shout out to them if you guys want a strut bar for your f chassis links are down below this is made out of aluminum it's so light and it's direct bolt on i think all we have to do is loosen up two bolts which i believe is this one and that one so it applies to this side we're gonna go ahead and loosen up this bolt and this bolt and then pretty much install the strut bar and then tighten up the strut bar itself so pretty easy stuff let's go ahead and get into it and just like that guys we also have this strut bar this this engine bay is really coming together intake oil filter housing oil filter cap and the strut bar those are the only aftermarket things you guys can see it's kind of subtle but it is all aftermarket it looks pretty dope i do want to get some things in carbon i might try to get one of these face plates in carbon i know they have some maybe even this intake in carbon or maybe even dip it in carbon you guys let me know what you guys think and then also this should i get this custom in carbon i think that'd be super dope and the strut bar i don't know i think i think this chrome matches this oil filter housing so i think it'd be kind of cool just to have those two but anywho guys that's gonna really help the stability of the car i'm super stoked for that Without further ado, I think you guys want to hear how it sounds just stock. So when I turn it on, the car automatically puts itself in comfort. So when it's in comfort, it's not at its loudest, but here is a cold start on a catted down pipe Valvetronic 435. I do smell a little bit more fumes, not gonna lie, but this is really quiet. Hear this. So when I started up in the morning in my neighborhood, this is how it sounds. It's not too crazy. I don't really smell anything so far. The car is cold, so I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and give it a few revs as it is, and then I think I'm gonna plug in boot mode and go ahead and turn up the burbles as well. Because what's super cool about this car, other than this beautiful steering wheel from Azza, shout out to Azza again, this is my favorite steering wheel in the world. You have options of eco, comfort, sports. I'll show you guys on the dash right here. We go ahead and put in a sport, 
Sport Plus, Comfort, Eco. So basically, when you when I plug in the boot mode tune, I can go ahead and turn up the burbles in Sport and turn it even more in Sport Plus. And then basically, in Eco, I can basically have it to where it's no burbles, so it sounds completely normal. It actually sounds completely stock right now, which I'm super happy about. And the smell, I don't really smell anything so far. I'm actually really happy. Obviously, maybe the cat needs to get a little bit warmer, but so far, I smell absolutely nothing, which is awesome. And then on top of all that, I also have Valtronics, so the, the car will muffle the exhaust in Eco or Comfort, and then will open the exhaust to full-blown, basically almost straight pipe other than my resonators. So uh, let's let it warm up and... Uh... And then we'll check back to you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, it's actually pretty warm right now, so let's go ahead and put it in eco. I'm gonna give it a few revs, and I'll go ahead and throw it in sport, give it a few revs, and show you guys how it sounds on a stock burble. This is not even tuned. turned up the burble tunes i don't know should we should we i oh buddy I, I yeah we have to we have to i mean come on we did cat down pipes for verbal tunes that's how it sounds you guys heard it from eco to comfort to sport and then sport plus you guys heard all four levels and eco there's literally no burbles and it sounds super quiet when you rev it the only thing i heard was the blow-off valve and the intake so when a cop's next to me all i gotta do is feather the gas and Everything's grave in the Navy. Just throw it in eco. You know, everything's good for you Cali people like me, you know? And then when you when there's no cops and there's a beautiful open road, you know, and the ocean and all that good stuff, you just go ahead and throw in a sport plus and then bang gears, you know? Just go ahead and go through all the gears and woo! What's this thing with the manual though? Oh my lord, maybe we have to convert it. Maybe we have to. I'm a little crazy. I might have to convert it. Anywho, let's go ahead and plug in the computer and go ahead and tune it. I think that's what we all want to hear. What's up, guys? So this is actually the next day, like I told y'all, but I'm actually, I'm not at my house. I'm actually back at the shop with Jonathan. Um, <laughs> And that's because I realized something that's pretty dope. Spoke to Austin from Valvetronic. They're the ones that sent me out the muffler. We're gonna be trying to perfect the burbles in this video. Dude, so, this thing's gonna be, it already sounds it, amazing. It, I just went for a ride in it. Yeah, it. yeah, I just took my first spin. Bro, dude, and isn't it already plenty quick? Yeah, dude. It's, it's <laughs> dude, it's, it feels so much faster than my M3, and I think it is honestly faster oh, than my M3. Faster. Yeah, right? But it's weird how that one's 400 horsepower, and this is 300. Stock. It's because cool. you have turbos. Turbos. I think turbos, it, they just like the boost just kicks. Yeah, it just kicks. So honestly, the temperatures are honestly performing really well. Really happy with everything. I did get a check engine light on the way here, um, but we can cover that out with boot mode as well. So in terms of this car passing smog, I don't think it's gonna happen. Um, so when the time comes that this car needs to get smog. Uh, your man has to figure it out somehow because uh, it is heavily modified. <laughs> Anywho, um, let's go ahead and get the computer, plug it in, and uh, I know you guys are excited to go stage two and burbles, and I don't, me and Jonathan are excited, so let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're finally in the car, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn up the burbles. So, if I show you guys where we are right now, we loaded up boot agent, so you need to load that up. It says uh, my connection in the vehicle is up, so we are good to go. And I have stage one right now, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm gonna go ahead and configure it. And uh, exhaust, what's it called? Burble exhaust type. burble type, yeah buddy. Oh my goodness, here Change. we go. we're gonna go custom. Custom. So for the duration, I think I'm just gonna try, let's try one second. No, let's do two seconds. Two seconds? Two seconds. Okay, let's, let's, let's get a cheeky two over seconds. here. <laughs> two seconds. This one, let's go ahead and just bring it up. Comfort, let's actually, let's, let's try this up all the way. I wanna Oh, all the way, it. oh my god, 12, okay. Hey, yeah, not, yeah, you know? yeah, I'm down for it, I'm yeah, down. Just a little bit less, I don't blow my car up. <laughs> let's, let's do 11, okay. And then oh is sport. Okay, let's do sport. Three. Uh, let's do three seconds. three seconds for now. We can always mess with this yeah, later, yeah. right? Oh, so we got the Yes, the we can engine. turn that off. Let's turn that off. Hey, there we go. High flow, high pressure fuel pump. So don't have pretty much we're just removing the check engine. Yeah, you have to see how it's right there, so. Flash it. Flash here. Flash now. Wait, wait, wait. Battery charger is highly recommended. All right, guys, we just plugged in our seatbelt. Uh, lights are off, heater is off, all that good stuff, and then doors open. Let's go ahead and click flash. Please wait. Downloading stage one, octane map, data from the boot mode three servers. Please wait. Okay. Um, allow. I guess we're just gonna play the waiting game, guys. So yep. I'll check back to y'all when it's done. That was really quick. 99%. I think it's because uh, we're still on stage one. So yeah. maybe we're just Oh, because like... we're not flashing like everything. Yeah. We're just doing the tune. Done? That's all she wrote. <sighs> so, uh, did my check engine light go away? Oh, it went away. It went away. Woo! That's what I'm talking okay, about. Okay, 
Alright, so now I think it's working. Yeah. Oh god, dude. I think it's on. So are you ready to rev it? Should we, should we rev it? This is comfort, alright? Okay, this is comfort. Hold on. Alright, go for it. That's comfort? That's comfort? That's comfort? Oh my god, that was halfway. Okay. Uh, this is sport. Sport? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. No sport plus. Sport plus. Okay, let's drive it. Let's yeah, drive it. I think we have to drive it. Yeah. Alright, oh my god. Bro, no check engine. No check engine. That's Get like tuned. a huge plus this right there. This is only stage one, guys. Stage one. Okay, stage one, let's hear the burbles. So, the burbles is on 11 maximum in sports. So I'm gonna leave it in sport plus. And uh, let's hear it. I gotta hear it. Oh, oh, there we go, man. there we go. Okay, okay. now you can kind of hear it. You can definitely hear it now. Now you can hear it. Uh, it's not loud enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and put full aggression. Full aggression. And uh, we'll see. I mean, it's definitely louder. It's de like, it the is fact louder. That I can hear it right now. I'm normally never able to hear it when I'm driving. This thing's crazy, dude. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the blow valve is amazing. I know. Honestly, like as much of a pain it was to install, it's worth every penny. Kind of, yeah. Ooh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh my god, oh, dude. Man. This car is a joy. I won't. It's well worth it. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh my god, dude, this sounds so, this sounds so good. good. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god. Rev it for y'all. <laughs> it sounds so good. Um, you know what, guys? We're gonna have to do stage two. We're gonna have to do stage two. So, um, if you guys want to see stage two, make sure to smash that like button, guys. I need to go ahead and purchase stage two, and then go ahead and figure out my maps and everything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and spend some time figuring that out. But I'm gonna be helping Joth with his with his videos now. So if you guys are enjoying these videos on the 435, make sure to smash the like button. We still haven't went to stage two yet, which is not pushing this car to its full potential. We have all the boltons we're ready for. If you guys want to see it in the next video, it's not just gonna be stage two. I actually have a huge surprise that you guys are gonna be really, really excited about. So so make sure you smash the like button. 1,500 likes, guys. And we're gonna go stage two and show you guys this new mod that I spent almost $2,000 on. Yeah, real stuff. All right, anywho, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. And don't forget to stay humble. Stay humble, y'all. Peace out.